Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I haven't done a chatty video in a while, and so I wanted to sit down and just kind of talk to you guys. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alex, and I would love for you guys to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I mainly do a lot of makeup and foundation reviews that are revolving around oily skin. So if you guys have oily skin and are into foundation reviews, concealer reviews, any type of reviews like that for oily skin, Please consider subscribing, and without further ado, let's get started with this video. Alright, so as you guys can tell, I kind of switched things around. I actually just turned everything around, so no more facing the bed. The bed, I'm looking at the bed right now, and I feel like it's, at least there's something behind me. And the lighting is a little bit better because the window is actually facing me now. But hopefully the lighting is better in this video. If I do sound a little nasally, it's because I feel like I'm in the middle of a cold again. I think it's like due to pregnancy. I'm going to keep saying that because I don't get sick often. And I know that your immune system isn't as strong when you get pregnant. So I think it's because of that. If I don't mention... You guys know what this is, but if I don't mention a product, then most likely it'll be in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. And I just wanted to show you guys a cute little sweater that I'm wearing. It says Mama. I got it at Target. It's like from their pregnancy section, but it just says Mama. I think it's so cute, especially for right now that it's super cold outside. I, I love this sweater. I'm just going to put a little bit of this because my lips are very dry. I'm going to be trying this foundation out. After this, I'm probably not going to be talking too much about the makeup, but I wanted to touch base on this foundation because I did do a review and the shade wasn't exactly correct on my skin tone. It was a little bit darker than I wanted it to be. So I actually went back and got golden tan and this shade is spot on. This, guys, this is a hidden gem of a foundation. So if you guys can get your hands on this foundation, you guys won't be disappointed, especially if you guys have oily skin. So currently, as I'm filming right now, um, I'm 24 weeks, so I'll be 25 weeks tomorrow. I feel like this time is going by so fast. I just remembered that I didn't prime my nose. Let me do that right now because I don't have foundation on there. I'm just going to use this thing. Just because my nose and forehead area is what tends to like really get oily. So I love this foundation. I'm glad I found a shade for it because I feel like I can see myself using this a lot during the summer as one of my like favorite summertime foundations. I'll be 25 weeks tomorrow and I'm 32 years old and this is my first kid ever so I am a first time mom. I'm learning as I go right like I don't know everything and you know with certain things I'll like google things or go on YouTube and just kind of see what where everybody was at with you know their symptoms and stuff and so for pregnancy usually it, I guess what's most common is that you get really exhausted the first trimester and that actually happened to me I was really exhausted and that's I think when I went a long time without filming and it was just really hard jump back to right now the second trimester which I'm actually kind of borderlining the third trimester but I feel like I was still a little tired during my second trimester it was to the point where I'm like I thought I was gonna get my energy back I haven't really gotten it back I feel like I did get it back for a couple weeks but I found myself sleeping like I would get up at seven o'clock in the morning and then like feed my dog feed my cat take her take her out you know stuff like that and then after that I was just so exhausted that I found myself sleeping again until I actually had to go to work I would get nothing done and then I remembered my mom saying that she had anemia when she was pregnant or around the time. I can't remember. I just remember her having anemia. So I asked her, yeah, she had anemia. And so I contacted my doctor and they actually did a test. So my iron levels were low, which can lead to anemia or it is anemia. I don't know, but they are low. I think they're supposed to be between like 12 and 16 is where it should measure and I was at 10 point something so it was a little low so right now they have me on iron pills and it, I've actually been feeling a lot better a lot more motivated because oh my god guys I don't know I love to rest I don't like to work but I also like a clean house and I like things to get done 
So when I couldn't do anything like that, I felt so defeated and I just wasn't feeling myself. So I've only been on these iron pills like maybe two days now, but already I'm already feeling a lot better because right about now I probably would be sleeping, which is why I haven't been uploading as much and I hate that feeling. I hate like knowing I haven't filmed in a week, two weeks. I think I even went three weeks and I don't like that. So hopefully those iron pills keep me stabilized because I really need to become more consistent with this channel. I think I owe it to you guys, especially because I know that feeling. Like when I watch one of my favorite YouTubers and they haven't posted in a while, I don't know what it is. Like what is that? That you're just like waiting for them to post. And then I thought about me like, not posting consistently and I feel like I lose some of you guys which is totally understandable but I feel like if I were to be more consistent I would keep you guys more engaged and I would keep you guys more excited so that's what I want to do I mean I do love filming and I have been using makeup you know most days and I just don't film it so I want to do that and that's why hopefully with this uh chatty get ready with me I kind of like get back into the rhythm of things and start back to filming. So that's what I plan to do. I don't want to say it's my New Year's resolution because I feel like I jinx myself every time I say that. I'm just going to stick to that, right? You know, like I'm going to be more consistent. We actually went shopping for our baby boy. We went to like Hannah Anderson the other day. I don't know if you guys ever, ever shopped there. It's kind of pricey. My boss has a lot of clothes, like her kids have a lot of clothes from that brand. And every time I wash it and fold it and put it away, I feel like it's like really good quality, that brand. So they had like 40% off the other day. And I told my boyfriend, I'm like, let's just go check it out. And he actually likes that brand too. So we ended up buying all these things. Granted, everything that we bought was from the clearance section because they were also like on clearance and then on top of that the 40% off also applied for clearance so it was like an actually good deal so we ended up buying a whole bunch of things but I know I shouldn't buy too much because again I'm sure we're gonna get lots of clothes from baby showers and stuff like that so but it's just so hard not to when you see like something really cute you're excited so we ended up buying a lot if you guys follow me on Instagram I did do like a mini haul on my stories with like everything that I bought. I was going to do a video, but I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably won't care <laughs> to see that because a lot of you guys are mostly here for makeup, but I did post it on my Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, I every so often I'll put like random things like that on there. It's not a makeup account whatsoever. I do share certain items that I use for the day but nothing like my youtube channel okay so don't expect that either <laughs> i'm just setting my face a little bit in the areas that i know i need setting and then the rest i just let it be because the foundation as it is it's already kind of like a matted foundation so i feel like it'll be okay all right so like i said i'm 25 weeks right now and i want to know did any of you guys go on a baby moon when you guys were pregnant? I kind of want to go on a baby moon, but I know it's like cutting it close. They say you usually don't travel during your third trimester, and I think I'm about to go into my th third trimester in a couple weeks, and we have nothing planned. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you guys ever go on your baby moon, and if so, did you guys go closer to your third trimester because you guys didn't plan? I never planned for things like this, so... I feel like I have something in my eye. I really wanted to go and take like a road trip to maybe like Tennessee, the, the Smoky Mountains and stuff like that. Because at this point, I don't think I'm going to get like a flight or anything. I feel like we're going to need to go somewhere where we can take a road trip. And I even tried convincing my boyfriend um, that we have, we have a Tesla. I don't know if I've ever mentioned to you guys. We got the Tesla Model 3. I told him like, we wouldn't even have to spend on gas. We would just have to plan out the trip. The way they work, like if you if you want to take like a road trip, um, the Tesla will give you all the spots you can stop at for uh, charging your car. And if they're superchargers, it'll charge your car to a, its full potential in 20 minutes. It's something ridiculous like that. And most of the chargers are placed on the road by like restaurants and stuff. So we could just stop by and have like 
lunch or whatever whatever time that is or maybe rest for 20 minutes and then keep driving because so I think Tennessee is about 10 hours away from Chicago I've been to it a couple times he's never been but I really like it it's really nice and it's supposed to be a little warmer than it is here not by much but a tiny bit warmer so I don't know what do you guys think am I gonna risk it by going within my third trimester or should I just go because I feel like I need to do something I feel like we're gonna need it before the baby comes I mean we just went to Vegas which is funny because I feel like that's where I got pregnant when we went to Vegas because two weeks after that I found out I was pregnant so I don't know I feel like we need to just take a quick little uh, vacation before the baby comes and before everything gets hectic. I already spoke with my boss. I'm gonna actually quit my job by the end of March, which I'm actually excited about. I'm a little sad because I feel like I'm gonna miss the kids, but I'm excited because I'll be home for a good month before the baby comes, so it'll give me an opportunity to actually pre-film a lot of videos for you guys and get my life together before it goes crazy all over again so I don't know I definitely want to squeeze a baby moon in there we could just do the weekend even if it's like I know he's trying to save all his PTO for like um, like maternity kind of like when I'm off he'll be off for at least two weeks also so I know he doesn't want to use his days so I told him like we can I need a mirror I need a mirror that's closer to me we can go um, just for the weekend you know like Friday he usually gets home around three o'clock we'll leave and then um we'll be there Saturday Sunday come back I don't, I don't know even I don't know maybe he'll need to just call off one day at least but that's what I'm thinking it's funny because after we got back from Vegas we got the Tesla like a week after and then we found out we were expecting <laughs> It's a small car and I feel like I'm sure the baby will be fine in the back seat. I mean, I've seen videos with people, you know, showing how the seat fits and everything. It's fine. But I feel like I wish I would have just gotten the Tesla X or something like that. The bigger like SUV one. Oh my God, guys. It feels so good not to go to the gas station. Pump gas. You just get home, you charge it and it's ready for the next day. I love it. It's really nice. He actually wants the Cybertruck. The little one doesn't look like an actual pickup truck. It looks like a freaking like futuristic car. It's supposed to come out in like a couple years. So hopefully he gets over it by then. But <laughs> I know he's probably watching. Um, but that's the one he wants. You'd be surprised. I mean, some people pay like $50,000 for their cars. And the Tesla that we got is pretty reasonable. They start at 35000 You know, like it's at that point, it's like, it's a no-brainer. They start at 35000 So you can get an electric car for 35000 the base model. And then I think the government gives you like a tax credit at that point. And you don't have to pay for gas. I don't know. It's just, it, it's been really nice. Right now, he's been driving a 96 Ford or Dodge pickup. I can't remember if it's Ford or Dodge, but that's what he drives to work. We had two other cars before the Tesla that we got, but they were leases. So we ended up getting rid of those in May and December. Um, and that's why we decided to go for just because we had two cars. We didn't really need two cars. He has his pickup for work. He didn't use the other one. Um, so once we got rid of those two cars, we ended up getting the Tesla and um, it's been great. But yeah, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chat with me. Again, you guys check this foundation out. This is for sure my shade. I know the other one was a tad too dark, but golden tan is going to be your shade if we are like foundation twinsies. I think you guys really will enjoy this, this foundation. It's really a hidden gem. And then it's funny because another girl on this video that I did actually said you are right it's a hidden gem because she loves it she said she was caught in the rain and it didn't break apart it's like a really good foundation if you guys are going to a wedding if you guys are going to a party if you guys are going to be dancing you guys will need this foundation it won't let you down check it out and it's like cover girl so it's i think it was like less than ten dollars i'll put it on the screen just to let you guys know how much how much it is but it's definitely worth a buy so yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching this little quick mini 
chat and get ready with me. I appreciate you guys for being so patient with me, but I'm trying to get my act back together. Hopefully this setting works better with lighting. I think it did. I think it's getting better. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I have to wrap it up because I think my battery is about to die. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.